Good evening, you're watching Left, Right and Centre. Merry Christmas to all our viewers. Tonight, there's been controversy over the government's decision to celebrate Good Governance Day today. Did it undermine Christmas? Was it appropriate to celebrate it though because it's also Atal Bihari Vajpayee's birthday? Also, as the debate heats up over the Bharat Ratna to Mr. Vajpayee and Madan Mohan Malviya, Amartya Sen joins us for a special interview. But first, on the program this evening, it's meant to be a holiday, but the government went ahead with its functions in various ministries to mark Good Governance Day today, led by the Prime Minister himself, who continued his Swachh Bharat campaign in his constituency, Varanasi. While the centre insisted that attendance was not compulsory, several government departments were working today. For some, a Good Governance event or the other. The move has sparked off a row over whether this undermined the festival of Christmas. From the launch of the e-auction process for coal allocations, a flood of online initiatives in information technology to celebrating 14 years of the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. The Narendra Modi-led government marked former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee's 90th birthday as Good Governance Day. With the Prime Minister himself continuing with his Swachh Bharat campaign, with BJP leaders across the country lending a hand making it at least a part-working Christmas for these mantris and bureaucrats. It's the second working holiday after the Swachh Bharat campaign that was kicked off on Mahatma Gandhi's birth anniversary. The government, though, insists that it was all voluntary. There is no force. People are at liberty to celebrate these function in whatever manner they fit. At the Rajiv Gandhi Bhavan, headquarters of the Civil Aviation Ministry, where more than 1,500 people are employed, barely 50 officials turned up for the good governance function, and that to all top officials. And the minister started the proceedings by wishing everyone present a Merry Christmas. World over, and rather more so with us, uh, we have been trying to make uh, government responsive and less obtrusive. Not everyone, though, warmed up to the idea of Good Governance Day on Christmas, with Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee even saying, every day is Good Governance Day. We give respect for him also. Yes. It doesn't mean that we have to observe Chris, uh, Good Governance Day on Christmas Day. That is matter of coincidence that uh, Bajpai ji Janamdin is today. For many in the BJP, the tenure of former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee is an example of managing a tough coalition and running a successful government. But celebrating his birthday as Good Governance Day, that's also Christmas, means escaping the controversies that come along with it is almost impossible. In New Delhi with Sandeep Pukan, Keetki Angre, Faini TV. So was this a good idea just on the wrong day or as the BJP says it is after all Atal Bihari Vajpayee's birthday as well and therefore it's a, it's a coincidence that it's followed on Christmas but at the end of the day did it undermine the festival of Christmas as well. Joining us tonight we have Reverend Anil Kuto, the Archbishop of Delhi who's been kind enough to come in on Christmas Day, MG Devashyam, the for, former IS officer who joins us from Chennai, Ratan Sharda, RSS ideologue joining us this evening from Mumbai, also Sambit Patra in Mumbai this evening, Ab Abhishek Manu Singhvi of the Congress Party and Pavan Varma. Uh, Rajya Sabha MP of the JDU. Reverend Kuto, first of all, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you so much for coming in on, on a day like this. Do you believe that this Good Governance Day event undermined Christmas in any way? Or do you buy the BJP's argument that this was really about sending, uh, marking a symbolic day on Atal Bihari Vajpayee's birthday as well? Well, Christmas has its, its own meaning, uh, its own importance, uh, which is the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. And... Uh, it has always been a holiday. Uh, we have never had any interference with this uh, holiday for all these years. And to uh, uh, also announce a Good Governance Day and take off, uh, 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 you know, the, that, that kind of importance uh, of uh, Christmas and uh, uh, call uh, uh, people to, to work uh, and have a full work schedule and so on. 
that certainly undermines the whole importance of Christmas. Of course, uh, in, in no way to uh, downgrade the, uh, the importance of uh, uh, Vajpayee and the contribution of uh, Shri Atal Bhai Vajpayee Vash, as uh, our uh, Prime Minister, certainly. But, uh, and it happens to be his birthday, definitely, uh, his 98th birthday. But to make it into a full working day and to have sent a circular and so on to the school, Navodhya schools or, and to other CBSC schools, uh, you know, that they should have so many activities on that particular day and so on, certainly undermines to a large extent the importance of what do you, Christmas. What is the message that you think it sends? What is the I mean, wh why? What do, you, what, is, what do you think that the message is here? Uh, in, in well, the this? message I felt was also to undermine the minorities, to undermine Christianity and, uh, uh, you know, the, the existence of Christians in our country because uh, we, uh, every, every religion has its own important days and Christmas and Good Friday, these are the two days which have been holidays in our country for all these years. But if something else is being announced on that day and uh, that is uh, uh, eclipsing to some extent uh, or if not eclipsing, is sidelining to some extent uh, the meaning of that day, certainly I feel it's, uh, you know, uh, 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 undermining uh, indirectly, obliquely, subtly the, the meaning and the importance of Christmas for the whole country which is secular and which celebrates the all feast of all festivals of all I, I, I think that's a very important and strong point you make and I'll take that to Sambit Patra of the BJP that Sambit you heard what Reverend Kuto there was saying that I think there's a sense of hurt in the in, in the uh, Christian community today uh, about why today was chosen as good governance day that that it, it you know uh, that Christmas didn't get that kind of space and importance that it should have for everyone in this country because we are a secular country and we should and do celebrate you know all religious festivals. Sambit, I take that to you. Nidhi, first let me begin by wishing everyone on the panel and all the viewers of NDTV a very happy Christmas, a Merry Christmas and a happy New Year that is to come very soon. And I can understand what the father is saying, but we have a very different point over here. Let me begin by a very single example. I was a medical student. I remember I applied for a vacation once and my head of the department called me. He told Sambit, why do you have to go for a vacation? Please stay back because uh, you have to study hard. I told him, no, please, I want a holiday. I have studied enough. He told, see Sambit, in the body, if uh, the heart, the kidneys and the lungs, these essential body organs go for a single minute vacation, then life will cease to exist. I mean, all the thing that I was to, I mean, the point that I was trying to make over here is governance is a no vacation job. It has no holidays. The only thing is that we have over here named it as a good governance day. And I believe personally that this is the best way as to how we can uh, celebrate Christmas. I mean, good governance day is no insult to anyone. It is not a bad governance day that one is celebrating. One has named this single day as a good governance day. Why not so the I 27th believe, of December? Why not the 1st of January? Begin the new year with good governance day. I mean, if you have to, why the 20... Uh, I mean, I know you're saying it's for uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee's birthday, but it could have also been New Year's Day. I'm just... No, 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 Nidhi, 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 every day is a good governance day under this government, uh, let me remind you, so but the issue the is... No, no, the, this, this may be symbolism as you told because of uh, Atal Bihari Bajpayee's birthday, but then the government has to stang, send out a strong message. The government has to reassure the people that please don't worry, we are there for you and this is a new government and this day. government is committed towards... No, no, see, I told you, this is the best way of celebrating Christmas. It's Why not that we did it? not Why want the people to... Nidhi, you have to allow me uninterrupted time, I'm explaining. Why I not mean, do it no on Diwali, who, who, Sambit? Just did, a genuine question. Yes, who knows? This Diwali also may be called as something as good governance or the best governance day you have to wait for the Diwali then there's no distinction between Diwalis and Christmas I would rather envy my Christian friends that they had a way of celebrating Christmas in a very different way I mean uh, uh, yes Modi ji was in Diwali working in Kashmir he did not even celebrate his Diwali but the more important issue is I envy my Christian friends that at least Christmas has been called as a good governance day it is not an insult it is rather an adjective in a good way so what is the problem but that's Any not Christmas how they feel this... Sambit that's not how they feel 
No, no, tell me, has any single Christian family or any single family in this country has been affected by this Good Governance Day? Has anyone been told not to celebrate Christmas? No, has anyone been stopped from Are only Christians meant to celebrate Christmas? Are only Christians, is that the country we want to become? No, no, we segregate not festivals? at all. Even uh, where, you, where you stop me, Dean, anyway, that you are debating, I mean, it is a self-imposed exile, I would say, but no one stopped anyone in this country from celebrating Christmas. We are all allowed to go out and say Merry Christmas to everyone. We all are celebrating in a sense. In fact, Good Governance Day is nothing but celebration. So the country is celebrating Good Governance Day. The country is celebrating Christmas. There is celebration in the air. That's the big question. Uh, so okay. why, uh, if there is celebration, well, why people well, the, are questioning it? Well, the choice it? of day then, may, maybe the, that, is, that is what has come under question and Abhishek Singhvi wants to come in on that. Abhishek Singhvi, the BJP also though does have a point that if it wants to commemorate something in Atal Bihari Vajpayee's name, it's not their fault that his birthday also falls on the same day. So can they be faulted for that? Nidhi, this is a very serious issue and it makes it worse when the BJP tries to be too clever by half. An example of which you saw just now. When you try to camouflage something, disguise something and give over clever answers, then it underlines the, 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 the sinister nature of what you are doing. Just consider Nidhi, uh, you will start having good governance day on Christmas out of 365 days. Mr. Vajpayee would be the first to protest. He is a statesman, a quality which a lot of BJP leaders don't have. Will you choose, give, let me give you an example, if you have a Congress government in the centre whose icon is Rajiv Gandhi, if you have a communist government in Kerala whose icon is uh, uh, a communist leader of Kerala, let us say Mr. Ajutanand, and a third government of TMC in West Bengal, suppose they start having the commemoration of these leaders on Diwali, Eid and Christmas. Because for each government, he's the icon. Now, what happens to Eid, Christmas and Diwali? And is it not absolutely hollow to wish your viewers Merry Christmas and then to say that we are actually adding to the luster of Christmas by calling it good governance? Is that not too clever by half? And what is the possible uh, reason but for a subtext, a symbolic message to be sent? that we do not treat minorities equally, you are sending a clear unequivocal subtext. Will you have a celebration tomorrow by let us say a, destit a poverty removal day on Eid? And will you have a Swachh Bharat on, on, on Diwali? Incidentally, since 16th May, one Diwali has come and gone. And thank God, as a Hindu, but as a citizen of India first before as a Hindu, I would object to Diwali being a Swachh Bharat day. And who are you trying to fool, Nidhi? Are you thinking that the whole country eats grass when you say that by a directive of the government you should celebrate good governance in schools and ministries? No, people are so terrified of Mr. Modi that 89% of ministers will turn up in the department. And do you expect lesser mortals like you and me who are secretaries, additional secretaries and joint secretaries to stay at home and not come to the ministries? Yeah, I, 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 I think that's Christmas? a point. I think that, that, is, that is the point, point that's being made that it's point. not exactly last voluntary point, very despite important. what the government and, may say. And, yeah. and, and one last point, and one last point. What is the concept of a holiday? It's called in the Western world Sabbath. What is a holiday? A holiday, and I am for one quite happy if you abolish all holidays in India. Let's have a universal rule. But so long as you have holiday, the purpose of a holiday is to commemorate the memory of the person or event after which you have given the holiday. So you are supposed to, you may not actually do it. Think of Gandhiji on th second Jan on J uh, Gandhi Jayanti. Think of Christ and the Christmas uh, and the Christian ethos on that day, and so on and so forth. Okay. And you're supposed so to do I it in prayer the, quietly at home with your family. That's a very strong attack. You can't do that the, when you have conflict. Yeah, five so, other events so, on that Sambit, day. Let me just take that and to Ratan Sharda. Lastly, to Mr. Sharda. What is serious is what is serious yes. is that the BJP is taking us to oh, be the, the most BJP. gullible okay. people. Okay. Sambit, give me a moment. I just want to take this to Mr. Sharda, who is coming. Who is who is from the RSS? Mr. Singh, let me let me. I have to go to somebody else. Mr. Sharda, what Abhishek Singh is saying is that there is a subtext to minorities here. It's something that Reverend Kuto also said that there is a subtext, there's a message that's going out to minorities and you know they are worried about that. Would you like to you know clear the air on that? I mean do you do you really believe that this was the right day to have done this? Could it could it not have been any other day? <coughs> okay, let me have a say since you called me in. I think I am called in to give the communal angle if I may say so. You not know, really. uh, for example, 
I would call RSS it a very important player in the thinking of this government. That's why you're here, not to give a communal angle. Okay, so what I was trying to say that you know, this is a manufactured controversy. We love to have controversies. We need something in the media. Opposition wants something to beat Modi with. So anything will do. So they will pick up any issue and create a controversy. On a good day like Christmas, you make make us sit and fight it out. That itself is not a good idea. Now let me come to the main point. Since I have to give an angle, communal angle to this, out of the 14 uh, uh, holidays declared by the central government, year 2015 as well as year 2015 done by UPA, there are three secular holidays, 15th August, 26th uh, January and 2nd October. There are four Muslim holidays, two Christian holidays and only two Hindu holidays because by grace of secularism, Jains, Sikhs and Buddhists are no more Hindus and they have one holiday each. So out of 14 holidays, Hindus have only two holidays, Christians have two and Muslims have four. I don't know what is the logic behind it. We Hindus love to have festivals, all the Indians love to have festivals, they enjoy every festival. Even the optional holidays given, one is of Parsis, all others are Hindus. So Hindu holidays can be discounted. What is, what is the point, point that you are trying to that, make? Point is, this whole idea of you know BJP attacking minority rights to have holidays is a bogus argument. That's what I am saying. Modi is trying to make people work. He is trying to change the work culture. Hindus have been asked to give up holidays on festivals because we want productivity. We had in my company where I work with my people, we had a Muslim uh, you know, director who never gave a Eid holiday. <coughs> we so had a company where the... Uh, are you going to ask the Mr. Modi to get all the government ministries to work next Diwali? Nidhi, how many holidays have I been left with? So how I have many been left have with two holidays. Two? I mean, if they have Good but Friday I have only and two holidays. I mean, so that's... So, so let take us start Christmas somewhere. away as well? But is it compulsory? Are you asking Christians to drop their festival and come for the come for so work? So only Christians celebrate this Christmas. Whole, see the whole idea. Only the Christians whole idea should of celebrate creating Christmas. This issue itself is wrong. Only Christians should celebrate Christmas. Uh -huh. That's what you're saying. Hindus don't celebrate Do Christmas. Do you mean to, see this is this is sheer hypocrisy because most of the community celebrate the holidays. A few of others also participate. Do you tell me? They celebrate. I am saying a few of them also come together to celebrate the festivals. Does that mean that all the people should have holidays? What kind of holidays we give for all the national heroes? I remember in school days we had Nehru's birthday. He went on saying that Aram Haram hai and we had a holiday. So are you respecting our elders? Are you respecting our leaders, icons? We want to holiday on every kind of reason. Well, I think what, what you've said is very, very controversial and I know Pawan Varma is dying to jump in. Mr. Devasam from, from know, Chennai uh, it, it, it wants to come in on that particular Such point. Sir, gathering. you've been an IAS Such officer. Gathering not together for development issues, talking about festival holidays. No, because because they, because it's 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 not just a festival you holiday. It may be to you, but I think it means a lot to a lot of other people. Mr. Devasam, yes. Yes, sir. But you have no worries that Hindus forming it, 70 to 80 percent of the population Nidhi. have just two holidays. Uh, Nidhi, either only some panelists or yeah, yeah. you should Mr. be Mr. Devasam, please, 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 sir, please, sir, come in from Chennai. Please, sir. I'm going to turn down the, the mic, sir. One second, one second. Yes, yes. I think, Mr. Shahzad, let's let Mr. Devasam come in. I give up so many Hindu holidays. Mr. Devasiam, come in. Do you, do you buy this argument the, that is being made by the I RSS, sir? You've also been an IAS officer. Like do you believe that IAS officers today, bureaucrats today in the government of India had any choice but to come? I mean, they, uh, the government said it was voluntary, but if you were still in office today, what would you have done? I have, I have cancelled so Mr. Sharda, one, one moment, sir. One moment, Mr. Sharda. Yes. Will you please, will you please allow me to, will you please yes, allow yes, me sir. to talk? I'm going to turn down the mics, guys. Okay, yes, 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 sir. Go ahead. Now, you see, as a, as a Christian myself and a former civil servant, I will, I will look at it in, in a three different perspective. Number one, Christmas is not only a Christian festival now. It is a national festival. It is a universal festival and within Christmas itself there is a message of good governance. 
the message of Christmas is, it is not just Christmas trees or Christmas cake or just festivals. The, the, the message of Christmas is, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to men of goodwill. Peace and goodwill are the essence of governance. Now, second point is, is there an attempt to undermine or sideline Christmas? That's a question that needs to be debated. Let us not get over excited about it. I really do not know because today was the birthday of the former Prime Minister and they are celebrating Good Governance Day. Now, third is the most important point. Third is the most important point. What kind, what kind of governance are they talking about? Just some people getting into the office, initiating certain programs, that is not governance. In fact, basic understanding governance has not taken place and it has been reduced to a mere kind of tokenism. Now, let us look at it holistically and say yeah. whether is there any major initiative that has been taken by the Mount Modi government in bringing about good governance. My answer is, I, am, I doubt whether the same thing, same thing has taken place. Instead of, instead of making Christmas as a good governance day, it has unnecessarily created a controversy.